everybody, just wanted to share with you really quick how I made my ornamental birdhouses. And these are meant to be ornaments that you hang on your tree, or you can use them as little um, place setting gifts or something like that. This one's just real plain, it's just to hang on the tree, so it's just um, intended to be an ornament. But this one is not only an ornament, but a gift box, so you can untie this little bow on the side and it opens up and you can put a little cupcake in there or some candy or a little gift, something like that. And these two do the same thing. So this is what they look like. And all you need is the template that you can get at my website, MarianSmithDesigns.com. If you click on shop and then click on digital templates, it is the birdhouse template on there. Um, so what you do is you print out the template onto an 8.5 by 11 piece of paper and um, this is what it ends up looking like. I know it's kind of hard to see, but you'll notice that there's three dark tabs. If you want this to be a box that you can open up, you're going to cut those dark tabs off. So the tabs are shaded and you'll cut off, which is what I'm going to do with this template. So if I flip it over, you can see I've got three tabs that are shaded. So I'm going to cut those off because I'm going to make this into an ornament that you can put a little treat inside and hang it up. So cut my shaded tags off there. And I'm going to be using um, the Scotch 3M Advanced Tape Glider, which is, we know it better as the ATG gun. <laughs> Just kind of sounds a little bit violent, but um, I know a lot of us tend to call it that. So I've cut mine out and I've already inked all my edges. And so I'm going to go ahead and put some adhesive on all of my tabs. And all the folds for this template fold inward. So if you flip it over, you're going to fold the tabs in from the back. Alright, so I've got adhesive on all of my tabs. Now I'm going to bend these bottom ones up, about like this. And I'm going to fold this over and bump it right up to the edge so it's nice and straight. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Bring it on over. And then I'm going to move this one onto this side. And then my last little tab tucks in so none of the tags are showing on the outside of your box. And hold that down. I'm going to add a little bit of the ink to that seam there just so it hides it a little bit better. And then now you're going to fold these tabs down. And you're kind of going to pinch your box to make sure it's nice and square and then put those down like that where there's an adhesive. I missed a spot here. So I'm making sure my box is nice and square and then I'll hold those down. Now you're going to want to cut out a piece of paper that measures three inches by four and a half inches. So I'm going to do that really quick since I forgot to do mine. So four and a half by three. And I'm going to punch both of these edges with a border punch. And I'm just using a scallop punch from Fiskars for this. Oops. Don't get stuck in there now. So line it up. Kind of give my roof a little bit more character. This paper is kind of funky. It's metallic paper so it doesn't punch very well for some reason. See the paper kind of gets stuck in there. Alright. Oh, that one kind of got a little funky too. Well, that's just going to have to do. <laughs> so I'm going to fold this in half. And this is going to be my roof. So of course you would not want that <laughs> label on there, but since this is just a demonstration, it'll be fine. And then I'm going to flip it upside down and kind of make sure I've got an even amount of spacing, space hanging over on um, each side of my roof there from the box. So get it on there and then you're going to press those tabs down. So open up the side that you cut the tabs off. That's the side that's going to open. And then you're going to want to grab some scratch paper and you're just going to cut out two little rectangles 
four squares, just like this. And grab a piece of ribbon, about, oh, I'd say about that much. And cut it in half. Then you're gonna grab your ATG and put some adhesive on there and stick one end of your ribbon onto that piece of paper. Make sure it's not hanging over the edge and then a little bit more glue on the top of your ribbon. Then you're going to put that on the inside of your box just like this. And press on there and then do the same thing with this piece. Add your ribbon, a little bit of adhesive over that. And you're going to add it to the top right up to the edge. So right about there. And then that is going to hold your roof shut. But really quick, I want this to hang on my tree as well. So I'm going to cut a little slit right on the top fold. It's going to be about a half of an inch right about there. So really quickly I'm going to cut that slit. I'm going to grab some yarn. I'd say about that much. Tie a little knot, leaving a nice long loop like that. Cut off the excess. And then you're going to push that loop right through that slit that you just made. So pull that paper back and then push that loop right through, just like that. And then now you could tie your box shut, just like this and tie a cute little bow to hang off the side. And now we're going to embellish it just a little bit. So I've got some yummy Prima stuff. I'm going to use some Prima bling. Oh, but before I do that, let's put some chicken wire on here. So I'm going to grab my, my uh, chicken wire stamp by Prima. I'm going to ink it up. I'm going to stamp it onto a piece of acetate right in this corner here. So you have a little chicken wire image. We'll cut out a little square. And with our ATG gun, we're going to put some adhesive on both sides of that piece. And open up your box. And you can do this before you assemble your box. I kind of just forgot, otherwise I would have done it before. And we're just going to stick it right on there from the inside. So now I've got a little chicken wire window there. Close this back up. And now we're ready to embellish the front. So I'm going to cut this um, Prima Bling apart a little bit here. I'm going to cut some of the little swirls out. And this one's a little long, so I'm going to cut a little piece of it off here. I'll stick it right about there. And then one on the top here. I'm going to snip off the extra and have it kind of and over the side here. There we go. And we're going to glue a Prima flower down on there. Let me pick one out. Oh, let's see. I know I had another sparkly one sitting here somewhere. If I just find it. And I can't find it. So I think we're going to use this fabric one here. So I'm going to glue that down right about there. So plop it right there. And I'm going to grab some of these green Prima flowers. Just stick on there as well. I got about three different colors here. And I've got some holly, um, some gold holly from Prima too. So I'm going to cut some of these little berries off of here 
and stick those on. So what I was saying was Christmas doesn't always have to be red and green. My camera kind of shut off in the middle of me saying that, so um, that's why I kind of added the pink. So I'm going to glue my little holly leaves. Actually, I think I'm going to do the holly leaves up at the top here. Just kind of add a little bit of sparkle onto my roof. I only have two left. I used four on my other ones. That's alright. It'll be fine. I'm going to stick some of these Primo flowers in there as well. Just kind of coming out from behind my flower here. Trim off some of these long stems. I think this one I want to kind of curl the wire a little bit. Have it spray out right about there. And I don't know if red would look so great on there, so we'll just add some of the little berries behind here. Gold leaves would have been so cute on there if I had enough of them. So I'll hold that down. And I think I've actually got um, some cute little butterflies that could go in here. Let's see if I can't find them really quick. Oh, that's too much of a mess to find to look through. Ah, uh, never mind. You can see them on the other ones. Alright, so now I've got my little birdhouse all done. If I could just get some of this hot glue off of there. So there's that one, and here's just a few others to get some ideas. And there's this one that's open. So this one I used four leaves up at the top, too. But they're really cute, and they're fun. They look great on your tree, and they're cute little gift boxes, and perfect for um, little place setting gifts. So that's it guys and make sure you go to the ATG uh, Facebook and like them. The link is right down there along with the link to this template and my website. And I hope you guys have a super, super duper Christmas and a happy new year. Bye guys.